Hi, I'm Robert Fija Kajiwara, native Luchuan, also known as Okinawan or Ushinanchu. I'm also native Hawaiian. Thank you so much to Medea, Jody, Marcy, Madison, and all of Code Pink for inviting me today. Thank you also to Christine and David, as well as to everyone tuning in. It's an honor to be here. Before we continue, I must say that this video contains images of graphic violence and warfare. Viewer discretion is advised. I am president of Uchina Wadan Nushinka, or Peace for Okinawa Coalition, a nonprofit organization founded and led by millennial Luchuans in order to promote Luchuan culture, history, languages, and identity. We are based in Uchinashi or Okinawa City, and we work with many other groups in Luchu, such as the Luchu Independence Action Network, founded by Mr. Shigenori Yamahara, as well as overseas, particularly with native Hawaiians, in our shared struggle against U.S. militarism and imperialism. Luchuans are the indigenous peoples of the Luchu Islands, as recognized by UNESCO, CERD, the UN Human Rights Committee, and many other scholars and organizations. Anthropologists believe we have inhabited the Luchu Islands for at least 32,000 years. We have our own unique history, culture, languages, values, and identity. Luchu historically had close, friendly, mutually beneficial relations with China, Korea, and Southeast Asia. Luchu was a center of international trade, finance, cross-cultural exchange, and diplomacy. During the mid-19th century, the Western nations recognized Luchu as an independent country via the signing of treaties with the United States, France, and the Netherlands. In 1879, Japan used its new modern Western-style military to illegally annex Luchu against the will of Luchuans. During World War II, Japan placed an inordinate amount of military presence onto Uchina, or Okinawa Island, the largest island of Luchu with the deliberate intent of sacrificing Uchinanchu, or indigenous Okinawans, in order to protect Japan. This resulted in the Battle of Okinawa in 1945, in which more than one-fourth of the Uchinanchu population was killed during a time span of just around three months. It is said that every Uchinanchu lost someone during the battle. After the war, most of Japan's other colonies regained their independence, except for Luchu, because the United States decided to keep Luchu for itself to use for military bases. The U.S. military forcefully relocated thousands of Uchinanchu from their ancestral homes in order to build military bases. Luchuans strongly opposed living under direct U.S. military rule, and had no form of democracy or self-government. So in 1972, the U.S. gave Luchu to Japan without a vote from Luchuans, which is illegal under international law, and to this day, Luchu remains under de facto joint occupation by both the U.S. and Japan, both of whom commit numerous human rights violations against Luchuans. There are around 30,000 U.S. soldiers stationed in Uchina, plus U.S. civilian employees and their families, making for a total of around 80,000. Many of these Americans commit crime, including violent crime against women and children. U.S. military aircraft are frequently having accidents, endangering the lives of civilians as well as the soldiers themselves. The military takes up around 15% of Uchina's land and around 30% of the arable land, yet contributes just around 5% to the economy, running at a huge economic deficit. Uchina contains less than 1% of Japan's land area, yet contains over 70% of the military presence. The military causes numerous major environmental problems, including the poisoning of drinking water. Now, the U.S. and Japan are destroying this ancient coral reef filled with hundreds of rare and endangered species, including the Okinawa dugong, in order to build a massive new base at a place called Hinoko, located on the northern part of the island. 
Miss Fumiko Shimabuku, survived the Battle of Okinawa and has dedicated her life to helping ensure that the horrors of the war are never again repeated and that future generations of Uchinanshu can live in peace. At 92 years young, she has literally taken a stand against the military base construction. She and many other Uchinanshu regularly do sit-in demonstrations against the military, however, they are forcefully removed by Japanese riot police. The overwhelming majority of Luchuans or Uchinanshu strongly oppose the military presence and are calling for demilitarization. We would like to once again make Luchu a center of peace and prosperity. I'm just about out of time for today, so I'll end here. If you would like more information, please check out our website, peaceforokinawa.org. Thank you again to everyone, and I'll see you next time.